Hello ladies, welcome to a new video on my channel, Heal Thy Feminine, where I discuss the importance of healing our inner girl in order to better tune into our femininity. So today's topic is going to be on the importance of keeping our legs closed in order to heal our inner girl. So I just want to give a disclaimer before I start and I in no way trying to direct anyone's sexual life. I am in no way trying to advocate for abstinence or celibacy. Um, this video is not about that necessarily. Um, but I do think that being a little bit more aware of our sexual energy in dating can really reap some benefits for us in the long run. But I just wanted to start the video off by saying, am I in no way trying to tell anyone what to do with their, um, in their sexual life? You know, I definitely believe that people should do what's best for them, but you guys do come to this channel for some advice and my opinion. So this is just my opinion. This is just what in my opinion works um and this is in my opinion what is beneficial if you you know you can take what you may from it or take nothing at all but definitely stick out to the end because whether you believe in you know waiting or not i definitely feel like you will get a lot of good information um that can even help you if you do decide to maybe have sex uh, early on right okay so let's get started so today's topic is keeping our legs closed to heal our inner girl um, so in this topic I'm going to discuss the importance of putting ourselves first I believe and this is just my opinion I believe a lot of times in today's society a lot of women are having sex too soon and i'm not saying that in a judgmental way but i'm saying it in a couple ways and one of those ways is that a lot of women feel pressured into having sex very early on it may not necessarily be their idea they may not necessarily want to have sex so soon but they feel like they have to have sex or they're going to lose the man's interest or he's not going to um, you know, he's going to go get it from somewhere else or, you know, it's the way to make him like you or solidify the relationship or to move it forward. Right. Those type of things go through those type of things go through a lot of women's head. So one thing I want to say is that I definitely believe that um, the right man for you will wait for your timeline and. You know, if you meet a man and he's not willing to wait for your timeline, then he's just simply not the right man for you. And he's not wrong and you're not wrong, right? No one is wrong. It's just a matter, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just a matter of incompatibility. And that's okay. That's what dating is for, is to find out if you're compatible with someone. And if you're not, it's okay to move on. You know, it's not okay to try and change people or to force people to you know, have your beliefs or, um, you know, conform to your will. And this goes both ways. It's not okay for him to do that to you, nor is it okay for you to do that to him. If, if you don't want to have sex and he does, then you're just not compatible. If he can't wait or if he wants to have sex and you don't want to and, he, you know, you don't want to give up your boundary about it, then you're not compatible and it's okay. No hard feelings. Let's move on. So that's one way. And then another way I feel like a lot of women are trauma bonding through sex they're trauma bonding through sex and they're doing that um because their inner girl is seeking validation their inner girl is seeking closeness um seeking intimacy seeking a safe refuge and even though it's only a fleeting moment of intimacy uh closeness with this other individual the inner girl probably has learned that you know, it's it's probably the only time that a lot of men have really um, 
really taken a liking to her, have really, uh, have really, you know, made her feel special, made her feel worthy, right? Like that's, that's what happens a lot is that that's one of the only time that a lot of women feel special and worthy is during times of sexual intimacy. And so the inner girl, you know, moves quickly into those situations or propels you, I should say, to move quickly in those type of situations to get that intimacy that she's been starving for. And this is why healing the inner girl is so important in dating because if you're having sex from a broken place like this, then you're going to have broken results, right? So it's in love, life and everything, it's not so much what you do. Um, but it's, it's kind of like the motive behind it. It's kind of the reason why you're doing any and everything that really um, kind of determines the outcome. Now, there are certain things that no matter what your motive is, it's just wrong, like stealing. Like a lot of people think, okay, well, like, you know, um, what's that story in back in the day, Robin Hood, where he stole from the rich and gave to the poor, you know, that type of thing. Um, a lot of people applauded him. But at the end of the day, you know, maybe there were some rich people that earned their money dishonestly. But who's to say that? You don't know that, right? Um, what about people who earn their money honestly, right? It's not right to take from the rich people who earn their money honestly and give it to the poor people who may have no motivation in life. Now, you know, we don't know the circumstances on either side, but... This could be a lot of the circumstances that were happening, you know, and of course this was a fairy tale. I don't know if it was based on a true story. I mean, someone let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure even if that particular story, um, childhood story isn't based on a, a true story, I'm pretty sure there were pretty, there were people throughout history who took that uh, vigilante uh, action to kind of rectify and socialize society, right? So... You know, a lot of people say, okay, that's a good thing. You know, the rich have too much. But who's to say that, who's to make that judgment, right? Because someone else has something that you may want, um, it, it's not right for you to just take it, right? Like they, you know, maybe they did get it dishonestly, but maybe they didn't. And if they didn't, they really do deserve to have it, right? So I mean, was he asking people, Does he was he studying people's situation to see if they really earned that money? Or was he just assuming because they were rich, they were crooks, right? So in these type of situations where it's like, it's not, it's not so much the fact that you are having sex so soon, right? Like it's not that is necessarily that that is the issue. Um, it's the fact that your motivation behind having sex so soon a lot of times will end you up in very negative circumstances you know a lot of women come from these very wounded places of having sex like i just spoke about from trying from your inner girl trying to seek validation and trying to feel worthy and she never feels like she feels worthy so in these instances she does what she knows best which is to get the momentary fleeting validation and approval of a man by giving into him sexually and hoping just hoping and praying that it will go in go further and that he will like her more so like i've like i've spoken about in other videos like we're all energetic beings and we kind of can tune into each other's energies and we can read each other's energies and therefore in hidden in people's energy is their motive right like why they are doing something so you, his energy can pick up on why you're having sex with him. And he, he will not consciously understand why he may decide that this isn't a good fit for him. Um, but he may feel your needy energy, your need for validation through intimacy, right? And it may turn him off and he may, you know, not take the situation seriously or ghost you or, you know, maybe just get... Um, you know maybe entertain it for a little while and then move on to the next right and so that can happen but also what can happen and a lot of times because of the the mixture of our human hormones as women plus the neediness of the inner girl and the brokenness of the inner girl mixed together it's a very lethal cocktail because because of those emotions that women have naturally because for women after we have sex we tend to bond with the person that we have sex with 
So that's just naturally how our human hormones work as women. Men don't really necessarily have that huge hormone, um, but women, we definitely do. So that's just natural for any woman, no matter what your attachment style is, no matter whether you're secure, anxious, whatever, whether you are healed or unhealed with your inner girl, that's just you as a human woman. But if you mix that with the brokenness of your inner girl, then you have a very lethal cocktail because that will cause you, you're already feeling like, I want to bond, I want to mate with this person, I want to create uh, some type of uh bond and relationship with this person right and then if you're not a, if you have that woundedness what will happen is that you will bring on more um negative energy right it'll be in the form of neediness desperation being clingy um being argumentative um coming from a very wounded masculine place of trying to make things happen um, trying to now that you've had sex with him trying to rush the situation forward trying to you know put pressure on him things like that so the, the lethal cocktail of the um, you know the sex the emote the, the um, oxytocin is the name of the hormone so that plus the neediness of the inner girl or the brokenness of the inner girl I should say will really have a lot of women pushing situations away after they've had sex so the reason why I brought this topic up and I know a lot of you may have thought it was going to go in a different direction that's why I said stay tuned because it's not necessarily that I'm, I'm advocating for abstinence or celibacy necessarily if that's not the path that you want to go down but what I'm advocating is really making sure that if you are going to have sex with someone that you're coming from a place of you genuinely are ready to have sex because you want that you know that pleasure or you want to um, I don't know if you want to bond with that person and you want to take your relationship to the next level from a place of you know intimacy not I need this person's validation I need their approval I'm trying to get them to like me um, please please like me please pick me please you know if you're coming from that energy I please advise you not to have sex because that is a sign that your inner girl is using sex to cover up the trauma the the brokenness that you have and I guarantee you that the outcome that you're gonna get in the circumstances and any circumstance like this is not going to be what you want in the end you know a lot of times women keep having these situations where they're having sex with men and the men are ghosting them the men are they're they're not having you know relationships with them they're becoming friends with benefits and things like that and it's because the man is feeding off of your energy right I say this in my podcast but a lot of you know like life is just one big mirror so whatever you're giving off is what you're going to be mirrored back but it's not going to be the same exact energy it's going to be complementary but opposite right so like i always say when i lift my right hand what you guys see is my left you you would probably interpret it as oh that's her left hand right so that's what a mirror is it shows the same thing but it shows the opposite of that or the complementary of that so when you are per producing you want to get closeness and validation and things like that what is going to happen is that in the mirror is going to reveal back to you that neediness that you have by not giving you what you're what you're longing for right it's trying to show it up to your face because honestly what would be happening if it gave into your desperation into your needs it would like the universe would be enabling you right so the purpose of all these things is to help you recognize your your healing process or the fact that you need to embark on a healing process to bring it to your attention but a lot of times women don't see or people not just women but humans in general just we don't see that we don't see the feedback on the outside of us is really a, something that we need to pay attention to. Instead, we want to interpret the situation in victimhood, right? And say, oh, well, they're doing this to me. Oh, this man wasn't serious about me. Oh, he didn't want a serious relationship. Oh, he was just playing games. Oh, he only wanted sex. All these type of things. And, you know, in a way, maybe those things are true. But at the end of the day, you would not have attracted a man who was who only wanted sex or who was only after certain things if you yourself wasn't in a place that complimented him right like a, a place that complimented his interest complimented his motives so 
if you come from a very needy um, seeking approval seeking validation type place when it comes to sex you're going to have experiences where men may use you for sex where men may ghost you after sex where men may want friends with benefits where men may um you know you may have a lot of one night stands just situations like that because what you're showing in the mirror is that sex is what i need is a means to an end it's not because i enjoy it it's not because i want to show my love and caring for a person it's a means to an end and so the the reflection will be back well that means to an end is not going to work because that's not how bonds are really made right bonds are not made from trying to shortcut intimacy right so I, that's really the the gist of this video um and if you guys don't understand just let me know in the comments and i i, I don't mind like um kind of reiterating uh maybe to a couple of comments or if it's a lot of comments and maybe in the future making another video to kind of delve deep into it but i don't want to go too deep just because i don't want people to think that this video is about saying like oh you should be abstinent oh you should be celibate oh you know i'm not coming from that place with this video i'm just saying that if you are a woman who knows that you use sex as a means to an end and not because you enjoy sex or because you are really um using it to you know solidify a bond um that is already there or present like the healthy way of sexuality but if it's more of a means to an end if it's more of a validation thing if it's more of a you know he has to he's gonna like me if i have sex with him those type of things that are not really the uh, intrinsic they're more coming from a wounded place of i don't feel secure within myself so i need to get that validation for myself then i would advise that you definitely keep your legs closed until you heal your inner girl because what you're doing is causing more and more trauma to your inner girl and it's just going to be this cycle and at some point especially when it comes to sexual energy you have all these energies because when you have sex with someone as a woman all of their energy just stay within you and you know there's cleansings you can do and maybe be abstinent for a while and kind of meditate and pray on their situation kind of clean yourself but i personally feel like that you never probably really get rid of entirely all of the energies that have been depositing you especially if you've had raw sex or that man has deposited a seed within you in within your womb space then i don't i believe that his energy may could last a lifetime now i don't have any scientific proof but it's just something that I, based on some reading and some research and different things and maybe my own life and things like that that in other people's lives that it may never really go away entirely that that attachment that you have to him because sex is a very spiritual thing where you know and so a lot of people i think forget that and they kind of just focus on the pleasure aspect of it instead of the spirituality aspect to it to their detriment right because um you know it's 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 much deeper than that and i'm not going to really go into that in this video because it's it's not on topic but I, I just want to encourage everyone who's who's watching this video that if you find yourself that this resonates with you where you feel like you are using sex as a means to an end to kind of take a break from having sex and it will save you a lot of heartbreak and a lot of repeating the same cycles over and over again because especially when it comes to sex if you keep getting your heart broken um and letting people have sex with you and you're not really getting what you want out of the situation over time that can really affect your mental health and your spirit self and your soul and a lot of times this can lead to depression and just really repeating negative cycles over and over and you know and just a lot of bitterness and resentfulness and things like that and so in order to save yourself from that just make sure you're doing the work to heal your inner girl first before right before you decide to embark on a heck a healthy sexual journey with the with whomever you may decide to do that with right okay so that's it for this video so i would like you if you have not done so already please like subscribe hit the bell icon so you can get notifications of this video um and so at the end of the video i like to do i would like for you to name at least one key takeaway that you got from this video um and then second i want to give you guys homework as usual um so for this one i just want you to you can write it down or you can just mentally think about it but really ask yourself um 
based on your maybe you're currently if you're having sex or uh, if you maybe are not having sex now maybe your last sexual experience or maybe your last few sexual experiences. let's do that let's do our last few sexual experiences um, not necessarily with the same person but with the last people last few people now if you haven't had few people if you only had one person or if you're a virgin obviously this doesn't apply to you but if you've only had like one or two people or something like that then just do whomever you have had sex with right so if it's been one person you had sex with it's been a hundred people you've had sex with anything in between just do it on however many people it is so it, up to three up to the most recent three so um just ask yourself well one when i had sex with this person was it entirely because i wanted to and what what i mean by that is did i feel pressured into having sex did i feel um coerced into having sex did i feel like i really wasn't ready but he kept he kept like um uh hinting at it or or he gave me an ultimatum or anything like that like basically was it something that was very very much um consensual right now i'm not necessarily asking did he rape you because you know that's a different case but you know a lot of times there has been case there's been a lot of instances where women just give in before they're ready right like i mentioned in the beginning of the video so if you gave in before you were actually ready if it wasn't 100 percent something you wanted to do at the time that's what i want to know so that's the first question the second one is was I also having sex because, again, I wanted to solidify a bond that was already there. I was trying to build greater intimacy. Or was I trying to seek his validation, seek his approval? Was I trying to get him to like me? Did I feel like this was the only way to his heart? Did I read some magazine or some article online that said that sex is the key to getting a man to like you or whatever? And I'm doing it because of that right any of those reasons now obviously you're the only person that's going to know this between you and god so please be honest with yourself right just please because you know especially if you have negative patterns around sex like you have sex with men and they go you or they only want friends with benefits you really need to do this exercise right and really shed some light on it so you can take the necessary steps to heal that so once you've done that i want you to write a letter to your inner girl telling her that it is that she doesn't need to have sex in order to be validated that she that you love accept and honor her and you can write the letter as short or as long as you want so if um if this if this resonated with you then please drop uh, a comment and let me know especially if you did it and i don't need you to write your information in the comments about the exercise right because this is a very personal thing but if you want to just maybe comment a breakthrough that you had or something like that, that's fine. But you don't have to go into too many personal details. Unless you want to. If you want to, then by all means. But you don't have to. But anyway, until next time, ladies, thank you for tuning in. And do not forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye-bye.